My name is Pat Wilkinson. I uh, spent 26 plus years in the Marine Corps. Uh, retired as a Sergeant Major. My last tour of duty was with Wounded Warrior Battalion West down, out, uh, down in San Diego, detachment down in San Diego. Prior to that, I was the Battalion Sergeant Major for uh, 2nd Battalion, 3rd Marines, which is an infantry battalion based out of Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii. June 26, 2008, uh, I was in what they call a green on blue, uh, where an uh, Iraqi soldier detonated a suicide vest and then wounded myself, one other Marine, uh, killed three Marines, um, and uh, 20 Iraqi nationals. Both my, my legs and then uh, my whole right arm were wounded or injured. I was unconscious the whole time. Then I woke up in Monstuhl, Germany. I still had both, both legs, and they were trying to save them. I was medevaced to Bethesda, and then from Bethesda to Naval Medical Center, San Diego, where I took part in what they call limb salvage, where they tried to save uh, both legs. And they were successful with the left leg. Unfortunately, about nine months after being wounded, I developed a bone infection in the uh, lower right leg. So they ended up having to take it uh, above the knee. So as I was going through physical therapy, I started noticing or having more and more pain in, in my left leg as the muscle continued to develop as I was working it. And then one day when I'm down in C5, the physical therapy department down at Naval Medical Center, I was starting to go through uh, a little bit of running, trying to learn how to run again on, on a, prosthesis and as I'm going down around the hallway a couple of the doctors from dermatology had been speaking to the director of the physical therapy department telling them hey you know this is what we bring to the table this is what we offer and, and we'd like to you know have some of your patients come up and see us and that's how I was introduced to, to the doctors at, at dermatology and then from there it was just a matter of or getting their brief, their presentation on what they thought they could do to help me. Because at, at, at some point, you don't want to hear, the word procedure to you means, hey, they're going to put me under, I'm going into surgery, I'm coming out in the PACU, in the recovery unit, and then I feel like garbage, you know, for the next couple of days. Um, so the last thing you want to hear about is another procedure. Well, they tried to, you know, put my mind at ease about their procedure isn't exactly like that. Theirs is a pretty quick in and out simple procedure, but they wanted to see what benefits, you know, I would uh, get from undergoing their treatment. Right? And they thought they could help me, so uh, that's how I was basically introduced to, to their whole program. Uh, I've had probably about a dozen laser treatments on the left leg, and then recently within the last uh, two months, started re receiving laser treatments on the, uh, on the right leg, on the residual limb. The benefits that I experienced from the, uh, the laser treatment on my left leg, I noticed almost immediately. I told you that as I was strengthening my leg, a as the muscle was developing, I was starting to have more and more pain in my left foot. And uh, you know, it, it was impossible to get a decent night's sleep every 45 minutes to an hour, I'd be waking up, I'd have to massage the foot, and then you'd go back to sleep for another 45 minutes to an hour, and then you'd get up and, and do the process all over again. So I don't know exactly what was happening, um, and that's not why I saw the, the, the derm clinic. I just thought they were gonna be able to treat the scar, and uh, the fasciotomy scar on the left side was the one that they had it started treating first and they zapped me or treated me that day and that night I had almost no pain in, in my left foot so that was probably you know the first good night's sleep I had gotten in more than a year I also started getting a little bit more uh, range of motion I was about 10 degrees shy of neutral which meant that my left foot dropped I couldn't get it up to 90 degrees I couldn't get it flat um, unless I put weight on it. I couldn't do it on my own. Over the course of the treatments, I started slowly but surely 
getting you know, more and more uh, range of motion. So now I am at neutral. I can get to neutral by myself. I don't need somebody to push on it or I don't need to put weight on it or anything like that. I can do it all on my own. So that's after you know, going through a year of physical therapy, not being able to get to that point, and then the only thing that changed were the, were the laser treatments. Right? So there's no doubt in my mind that they, they helped me get that little extra that I needed to. The impact that I've noticed the most, the scar has softened up quite a bit, and it's also made it a little bit more flesh-toned. So it's, it's not that angry red, or it's not that, that white, so it doesn't jump out at you as saying, hey, here, here's a scar. Now people kind of have to look uh, to notice that there is a scar. Before, if you had looked at the scar, you could actually see it, or, or what you would think would be the muscle strands right, because it was adhered to the muscle that tightly. Um, and as you know, the number of procedures, as we progressed with procedures, it seemed like it, it kind of slowly pulled the scar away from the muscle. And now you don't really notice it unless I'm really exerting myself. Yeah, the, the initial, you know, maybe half dozen procedures started pulling it away from the muscle. And that, that probably helped with the, uh, with the range of motion and the pain issue, because I don't know if the scarring adhered to the muscle was inhibiting blood flow to my foot or, or preventing the muscle from fully working the way it was supposed to. But uh, yeah, that's, it's been phenomenal. I, I experienced no complications whatsoever. I mean, other than the fact that you can't, you know, shower for a day or two after, after the treatment, which is more of a complication for my wife than myself, I had no problems whatsoever. I mean, there was, like I said before, every other procedure that I'd had since then, you know, involved, you know, recovery time and, and, and being stuck in bed for an extended period of time. Whereas this, it was, you know, you were in and out. It didn't affect me being able to walk. It, it didn't put me back in a wheelchair. Um, it, was, it, was, it was unbelievable, to be honest with you. It wasn't anything like what I expected or what I had conditioned myself to expect uh, from a, a quote-unquote surgical procedure. It all comes down to, to normalcy. Right? If, if I can walk you know, like I used to, um, then I'm happy. If I can move, like I, uh, like I used to be able to, uh, I'm happy. My balance, it, it all comes down to, to being as normal as you possibly can. Uh, as far as the hobbies and all that's concerned, well obviously I'm not, I'm not running as fast as I, I could, and I don't play baseball as well as I used to. My side to side isn't, isn't what it used to be. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the only limitations are, are what I basically put on myself. Um, and, and giving me that extra, you know, five to ten degrees range of motion. I mean, you don't you don't think that ten degrees is gonna is gonna affect you that much, but it, but it does. It, it's it's unbelievable. Right? Just simple walking, going up and down the stairs, up and down a slope. Right? It, it's made it so much easier, and that, and that's uh, you know I'm happy with being normal. I had never really thought about hair removal uh, on the residual limb side until I had actually been to this conference, the, the SCAR Symposium, Project Care Conference, and uh, talking to the other Marines who, who'd been there. And they started getting the hair removal uh, off their residual limbs, and they started talking about the benefits. And that's when I, you know, I decided, well, maybe that's something I want to try. Uh, the benefits being it helps with the sweat and you know, being stuck in a neoprene or uh, rubber coated sleeve all day, you tend to sweat, especially when it's hot out. So anything you can do to, to alleviate that, uh, a decreasing amount of sweat, which you know, also helps with the scarring on the limb because once you know, the salt and the sweat or whatever, it tends to irritate the scars. The other benefit, and this is probably the, the driving force for me was, you know, getting an ingrown hair. Guys, I guess, I guess women get them all the time, all right? But guys, you don't think about it, 
but they're painful, uh, especially when you're talking about on a residual limb, uh, the prosthesis rubbing up against your leg all day in your groin area and that kind of stuff. The, the pain was like, I was like, this is crazy. Well, the, the advice that I would give is, A, do your research, right? and then talk to people. Right? Talk to people you know, such as myself. Uh, fortunately, down at San Diego, or unfortunately, whatever the case may be, is you have a pretty large population who, who would uh, receive treatment, so you have a lot of people to speak to. But then the big thing is, do it. Uh, my experience is there's no downside. It's in and out. It's nowhere near as painful as, you know, anything else. All the other procedures that, that you know, most of these people who have scarring or burns uh, like they do have been through. I mean, there's, there's no pain involved. The whole process is basically a local anesthetic with, with, some, uh, with some numbing cream over the skin. And so you really don't feel it. And if you do end up feeling something, it's like somebody flicked a rubber band on you. So the pain is, is nothing, right? But the positives have, have been unbelievable. Uh, people wouldn't think five to 10 degrees is that big of a deal. It's a huge deal. The, uh, the alleviation of the pain and getting a decent night's sleep, huge. Uh, cosmetically, Right. Making it look more like, you know, the skin around it is, I mean, that's a big deal too.